After trailing at the half, 25 to 22, Lincoln County High School's Lady Falcons advanced Thursday night to the second round of District 8 AAA tournament action, defeating Tullahoma on the road. 55 to 41. The win sees the ladies match up with Columbia in the second round to be played Saturday at 2 p.m. in Chevyville. Courtney Story had a big night for LCHS, pouring in a career high 31 points, going 5 of 10 in the paint, 5 of 7 from the arc, and 6 of 8 from the line. Early in the first, the ladies were up 11 to 3. But the Lady Wildcats got on a run, and the Lady Falcons were on top, 16 to 12 at the end of one. In the second, Tallahoma nodded it at 22 all with 55 seconds on the clock. The Lady Cats nailed a three at the buzzer and were up 25 to 22 at the intermission. Samantha Williams gave the ladies the lead, 27 to 26 from the line with 6:25 in the third. The Lady Falcons would not trail again. The ladies won the eight minutes, 21 to seven, led by Story, who added 13 points in the period, and were on top, 43 to 32, going into the final frame. LCHS won the fourth quarter, 12 to nine, to finish with a win. Let's go to WYTM's Michael Cothran. Brian Neese and Matthew Posey for do, some of the play-by-play. Play. With the Lady Falcons with 7.20 left here in the first half. And again, nobody picked up story. They blocked that shot, like you said, from behind. Ball feed comes in to Higgins, swings it around to Fitch. Fitch back to Higgins. Swing. Now Lehman in the corner. She'll fake the three, gives it in to Williams. Back to Higgins, two story. Story way downtown, just shorts it. Now Alexander with the bring out. She looks to go inside. She runs all over Story, but she's called for the block. Looking, Higgins got to get the ball in. Finally does to Williams, and Williams gives it off to Fitch, and she'll bring it across half court with 6'10 left here in the first half. Good minutes here for McKinley Fitch at point guard. It'll be Williams feed down to Higgins, a lob pass. Higgins goes up and gets it, puts a shot up. It's no good. But she's going to be fouled by Sarah Garner, I believe, picking up her first, team fifth. Higgins now with the basketball, goes by left. She'll bring it across half court, got to watch out. She's picked her pocket from behind by Alexander. Alexander now brings it across half court, gives left side, fired from deep is White. White shot's no good. Williams had the rebound and had it taken away. Now Lehman with it. It's called with a jump ball, and it'll stay with the Lady Cats right now. These Lady Cats are out hustling the Lady Falcons. They are, and just noticing this, that Samantha Williams really having trouble getting going here. But she's got some tall girls down low to defend and, and play with tonight. Sam's only got two points and one rebound so far. Top of the key, White with the basketball, moves right side. She'll give it to Alexander, looking down low for McDonald. McDonald tries to throw the hook and can't, and a three-second call is going to be called on McDonald. And it'll be a turnover for the Lady Cats. Lady Falcons now will have the basketball and have to bring it full court against the press without story. That'll be in the hands of Lauren Gower. She crosses over, has it swatted out of bounds. And if Gower will just keep pushing the pace right there, I think she draws the foul. Yeah, she got to keep pushing it up there. Looking, Higgins got to get the ball in. Finally does to Williams, and Williams gives it off to Fitch, and she'll bring it across half court with 6'10 left here in the first half. Good minutes here for McKinley Fitch at point guard. It'll be Williams feed down to Higgins, a lob pass. Higgins goes up and gets it, puts a shot up. It's no good, but she's going to be fouled by Sarah Garner, I believe, picking up her first, team fifth. That'll put Higgins at the line for two free throws. She'll eye the mark again, have one more. Lady Falcons still leading, 17-14. Second free throw, good, brings it back to four. 18-14, Lady Falcons with the lead. Now quick the other way, Lett steps up to the three-point line, kicks it out to McDonald. McDonald trap, can't do anything with it. She's not gonna go one-on-one, -on -one, so she throws it all the way out top to Lett. Lett swings it around right side to Taylor. Taylor looking down low, nothing there. Firing from way downtown is going to be Lady Cat's let. And she gets no, nothing for it. And Lehman gets the rebounds. Now Fitch have the basketball to bring it across half court. Timeout asked for and received by the Lady Falcons. 
30-second timeout gives us a chance to stop and thank some of the fine sponsors that let us bring you Lady Falcon and Falcon Basketball, who are... Carter's Bank of Lincoln County, Woody Anderson Ford, Bagley and Bagley Insurance, FPU, Sabke's Jewelers, First Class Printing, Local People's Gas, Shoney's American Development Corporation, Bowles Realty, and last but not least, AAA Communications. McDonald. Appreciate that. Appreciate all the fine sponsors. Fouls come back in the game. Yeah, I think so too. Or, you know, you, you got to start working it down low and uh, trying to get some some high percentage shots in the paint. It's not so much that she has a lot of points. She also has two of this, this the two assists that went with extra points. Gower gets a long rebound after Fitch misses the three. She gives it to Layman in the paint, goes up with a shot. It's no good. They say. How can you say she was on the floor? She was shooting. Yeah, she was in the air. <laughs> okay. Who's the foul against? Garner. Garner. Our first team six. Both teams now in the bonus. Ball comes inbounds to Lauren Gower. Gower looking down low for Williams. Gives it to Layman, top of the key now. Layman working with the basketball. Goes around her defender, takes it inside, puts up a shot. Shot's no good. That shot was altered by McDonald. Now quick the other way. Lett steps up to the three-point line, kicks it out to McDonald. McDonald trap can't do anything with it. She's not going to go one-on-one, -on -one, so she throws it all the way out top to Lett. Lett swings it around right side to Taylor. Taylor looking down low, nothing there. Firing from way downtown is going to be Lady Cat's let, and she gets no, nothing for it, and Lehman gets the rebound. Now Fitch have the basketball to bring it across half court. Timeout asked for and received by the Lady Falcons. 30-second timeout gives us a chance to stop and thank some of the fine sponsors that let us bring you Lady Falcon and Falcon Basketball, who are... Carter's Bank of Lincoln County, Woody Anderson Ford, Bagley and Bagley Insurance, FPU, Sabke's Jewelers, First Class Printing, Local People's Gas, Shoney's American Development Corporation, Bowles Realty, and last but not least, AAA Communications. McDonald, appreciate that. Appreciate all the fine sponsors. With McDonald in the game with two fouls, you got to think with her stolen away by Alexander. Alexander with a run out. She's going to move coast to coast, put up the shot. It's no good, though, and Higgins gets the rebound. Higgins outlets to Fitch. Fitch pushes the pace. Throws it half court to Lehman. Lehman. Back it out. She'll give it down to Higgins. Higgins power dribbles down low, puts it up, and good. Good job by one of your veteran players to get a good look at the basket. Lehman will step to the line for the first of one and one. She eyes the mark. First one, good. Big free throws right now from Lehman. Makes it 21-19. Don't forget tomorrow night's action, 6 o'clock, Lady Falcon, or excuse me, the Falcons will travel to Lawrence County. Take on the Lawrence County boys team. Lady Cat's got numbers. They swing it left side in the hands of Wellington. She fires from three. It's no good. Story with a rebound. Story. He's got Sanders ahead. Sanders running it out. Wow. She walks. Out of board, Paul Henry. We good down there? He took that one right off the noggin. One and one, and King gets the rebound, gives it to Story. Story ahead to Fitch. Fitch backs it back out, gives back to Story. A minute 30 left here. Story works, takes the screen from Slayton, looks to go inside, kicks out to Sanders, back to Story. Story fakes the three, goes inside. Trap gets it back outside. Swings it around. Story top of the key. Fakes a shot. She goes inside. Now Fitch looks to penetrate. She goes in, kicks it out to Slayton. Good ball movement by these Lady Falcons of being patient. Now they throw it away. McDonald with a steal. McDonald feet ahead to Wellington. Wellington's 10-foot jumper, no good. Let with a rebound. Alex into the hands of White. White fires from downtown. We're all tied up. And passing the ball around with three guards at the perimeter. Story stands, gives right side to Fitch with 28 seconds. Trying to go for the steal and coming away empty-handed. Lady Falcons remain with it with 15. Slayton guarded by Bland. Gonna have to dribble. She finally does. Gives it back to Fitch. Now Wellington, excuse me, Alec Wellington with a steal. She'll back it out with four, three. Two, let will fire, 
it is good if it goes, and it is. Three-pointer at the buzzer. Tullahoma gets their first lead of the game, 25 to 22. What a first half. Lady Falcons led by as much as eight. They trail by three here. We'll take a timeout, two-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll have Coach Chad Tibbs of the Falcons talk about the Falcons tournament game tomorrow night. Back after this two-minute timeout. That's what the stoppage is for. Now Lady Cats working to get it inbounds here. Lady Cats looking, throw it out over the top to Alexander. Swings it left side to Wellington. Wellington looking down low for McDonald. I don't know why she didn't throw it to her. Yep. But she wants, she'll bring it around and she'll feed it from the right side. Down low, McDonald, now double teamed. Falls to the ground and has the ball stolen away by Story. Story, Alice to Higgins. Higgins dribbles out of the trap. Timeout. Timeout asked for by the Lady Falcons. They finally get it. Coach Harden worked for it, earned it, and got it. 60-second timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. Lady Falcons lead it 45-32. to 32. Back after the timeout, Lady Falcons have the basketball, the lead. Story working is just plowed. And I, Falcon faithful almost attacked the referees here. They weren't going to call a foul, and every Falcon, mama, daddy, aunt, uncle, brother, and, sister, and cousin stood up. And broadcaster. <laughs> foul goes against whom? 32. Janiah Davis picks up her first, team Fia. Now Story works across half court, goes inside, gives it to Higgins. Higgins kicks it back out to Story. Now Story down Main Street, feed to King. King goes up strong, scores the basket and is foul. As Posey hollers out, that's an and one. King over the line to finish the three point play. The foul's gonna go against Kaliah Bland, only her first. Team seventh though. Lady Falcons will shoot free throws from here on out. And you see this just creeping on away from these Lady Cats here. Lady Falcons have the momentum and they've maintained it since the very first play of the second half. Where Tullahoma got in trouble is when their two go-to players fouled out. They didn't know what to do. Now Lehman with a deflection almost gets the steal. Instead, now she does get a steal as the ball comes inbound. She throws it and then has it tipped away in the hands of McDonald. McDonald spins. Kicks out, Alexander fires from downtown, good! Lett with the basketball, swings it left side to Alexander. Alexander looking down low, can't get it. Lett fires from three point range in the corner. Shot's no good, ball's tipped around. King comes away with a rebound. Big rebound, now she pushes the pace across half court, stops, waits on help, good job. I like it. Coach Harden calls the swing around, pass it around and move around. King fires from 15 feet, shot off the mark. McDonald with a rebound. Just under four left to go here in the fourth quarter. Now Lehman with a steal. Lehman with a run out. She takes it in, lays it up. Shot no good, but she is fouled, and she'll go to the free throw line. That's her third steal of the second half. President King. Hierarchy. But he can't. Dictator. I mean, can't, I don't. <laughs> can't drive. <laughs> he can't drive, but he sure can run a kingdom. <laughs> you better get that show for soon. <laughs> First free throw by Layman's no good. She'll eye the mark. Second one is good, and 51-38 is the score. And uh, didn't have a lot of choice to run out of real estate down there. Lawrence County and Franklin County go into overtime at 42. Lawrence County and Franklin County in overtime. Alexander now feed top of the key. Looks to go inside, stops, backs it out. She'll give it left side. Let will fire from three-point range. Just off the mark. Story with the rundown. Now the run out. She beats everybody down the floor, puts up the runner. It's good! 31 for Courtney Story. Back after the timeout. Lady Falcons will work as Higgins deflects the ball. Uh, working on defense here. It'll be Alexander with the basketball. Time is fleeting and becoming an issue for Tullahoma. McDonald stands top of the key, swings it left side to Bland. Two post players standing outside the perimeter. That's not going to get it done. Not at all. Bland works, finally gives it off to Alexander. Alexander looks to go inside, bangs, puts off a shot. It's no good. Higgins with a big rebound. And then she is tied up, and they'll say jump ball. <laughs> wow. Okay. Turns and is goes to the floor with a jump ball. Jump ball? Where? It'll go to the Lady Falcons. 
I'm threatening nobody, but these refs better leave quickly when oh, this game's there, over. There's some, yeah. there's some unhappy people in this gymnasium. Yeah, you're right. Good Story working with the basketball. Brings it across half court, gives it to Higgins. Higgins stands. Ball feed comes to Fitch, top of the key, back to Story with just under two. Layman now with the basketball to Higgins deep in the corner. Brings it back up to Story with a minute 50. They got to start fouling or something. Now a foul is going to be called down low on Bland. That'll be the, her second team night. King will eye of the mark. First one is no good. Shorts it and then gets the rebound. Nobody comes in, puts it up and good! Nobody converged on the one and one. King gets the rebound, lays it right back up. Tell I almost fell asleep. Saturday, uh, if you want to make it up there to see that, you're more than welcome to. You'll see a lot of basketball. Well, that'll do it. Lady Falcons win this one 55 to 41. We'll take a 60 second timeout, come back and wrap this one up with game totals back after this short break. All right, wrap this one up. Lady Falcons come away victorious 55 41. Here's Brian Neese with some game totals. All right, first for the Lady Falcons tonight, Courtney Story tonight, 31 points, five rebounds. She was five of 10 from the floor, five of seven behind the arc. Morgan Higgins tonight, eight points. Kyla King, eight points and eight rebounds. Bethany Lehman, five points, and Samantha Williams with three for the Lady Falcons. For Tallahoma tonight, Anastasia Wellington, two. Kentoria Alexander, 12. Kirsten White with three. Katie Lett, eight. And Ashlyn McDonald for 16. Uh, and a final score tonight, Lincoln County wins at 55 to 41. That will put the Lady Falcons in the second round of the district tournament. And at two o'clock on Saturday afternoon, they will take on the Columbia Lady Lions who defeated Lincoln County twice this year. So a big matchup coming up for the Lady Falcons. That is Saturday afternoon at two o'clock. And that is again over at Shelbyville High School.